Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these uh, Screaming Sicilian microwave pizzas. This is the uh, Bessie's Revenge. It is tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. That's it. Um, there's what it looks like, and they're really good. The, reg the full size ones are. I don't know about these. Um, I'm single. I like that. This is a single serve pizza. These are new. These were $2.98 at Walmart, which I don't think is bad. $3 for a, for a frozen pizza. Um, I don't think that's too bad at all. And these are, the, the pizza is pretty much the size of this box. Just to let you know. So calorie wise, we're talking about um, 600 calories for the entire pizza. Well, there's your other information. And we make these, you can do them in the oven of course, and I'm sure they're 100 times better in the oven, but we don't do ovens, we do microwaves. So we're gonna take the wrapping off the pizza, um, take the pizza out of the tray, flip the tray over and put the pizza on top, and you're gonna microwave it four to five minutes. Um, I'm gonna do four because it's, it's always best to go on the low side of these. Um, leave it in the microwave for one minute till the tray to let the tray cool off and, and then it's ready to eat. So let's see what this looks like. Oops. Pull tabs, you know I like the pull tabs. If I, if I can get them. Okay, there's your pizza. Quite a bit of cheese. I mean that's a ton of cheese. And then the tray, you get the silver tray that you're going to flip that over and put the pizza on top of and move it in the microwave. So I'm going to get this open, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, here it is on the microwave, and I just slid it onto a paper plate so I could carry it and eat it. Um, it did run over on the sides a little bit. You can see there. Uh, it didn't touch the bottom there. Maybe a little bit there. So it basically, we've got one of those glass turntables in ours, and um, you know it runs under that. You just, it comes right off of that, and then uh, I wipe it off, the wipe the turntable off. It was wet inside too, so uh, paper towels dried out works pretty good. So I'm going to get this off this uh, warming thing. I'll need to take a knife to it, and I'll probably cut it into four pieces just so I can eat it better, and then I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. i got to cut it into four pieces. Um, just know that I'm using a metal knife. Uh, if you had a pizza cutter, it would be a thousand times easier. And um, if you have a plastic knife, you could probably get it, but you're going to have to really like saw at it and really like, I really didn't cut it. I really more stuck it in and like split it more than anything. So I didn't really cut it. But if you had a pizza cutter, that would be, you just slide it right around. So uh, just know that before you go into it. So I'm going to take a bite from the center first because it's got um, more of the, a softer cheese to it. I like the flavor of the sauce. The sauce is the um, same sauce I use in the Screaming Sicilian, the big size pizzas. Um, the crust tastes very similar to those pizzas too. It's a little thinner, but but um, it has the same flavor. The crust is um, good and crispy on the bottom. It's um, the cheese tastes really good. The sauce tastes really good. The um, I like the crust. It's not hard and dry. It's it's a good crust. Um, four minutes was perfect for this. So if, if I went any further than that, I think it would have been really really dried out and hard. Because uh, the very corner over here where I'm holding it, it's a, it feels a little dry and crunchy. But um, but if I went more than four minutes, the whole thing would have been dried out. So five minutes would have been way over. So if you have a small microwave, you probably need to do it five. But if you have a regular, a big, a good size microwave, you'll, you probably won't need to do the whole five. So experiment, you'll have to experiment a little bit. Um, try a little low and then go a little higher if it doesn't cook it or melt the cheese all the way. Um, these are really good. The flavor of the cheese is not quite as strong as um, like the pepperonis and the sausages and stuff like that. But um, this reminds me very, very much of their regular um, Bessie's Revenge, the full size one. Um, not quite as cheesy, but it's still really good. And the sauce is a little less, which I like. I don't like tons of sauce on my pizza anyway. Um, I'm gonna give this one a four and a half just because it's cheese. It's not really exciting cheese. It's just cheese. Um, I don't know what they could have done differently to make it more exciting, but it's not bad by any means. It's just not something I would buy regular. I'd rather have the uh, Mumbo Italiano or, or um, I haven't tried the pepperoni yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be probably a lot of flavor with the pepperoni. So four and a half definitely is not a knock on the pizza itself. It's really good for frozen pizza. You can't beat it in the market. I mean, the oven, I bet you it would be a hundred times even better. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.